Hey, this is KTB and you're locked into the 401 show. If I'm not happy with something, I say no. A true friend is someone that you can say, oh no, I'm not doing that, I'm going to do this. No, all right then. I care about what some of my friends think, especially more my close friends. Sometimes we end up doing things just because everyone else is or because we want to be seen as cool. Following the crowd isn't always the best idea, but at the same time, nobody wants to be an outcast. So what do you do? That's what we're going to be talking about today. I'm Jimmy and this is The 401 Show. With me on the 401 show today, it's singer songwriter Misha B. Yeah. Hey, we've also got rapper, dancer, presenter. It's Aidan Davis. Woo! Triple threat. I held up four fingers for triple threat then. Can't even count. And of course, we've got our 401sie, Megan. Hello, Woo! Megan. You can clap yourself. It's all right to clap yourself. Don't worry about that. Thanks for joining me on the show, guys. Thanks for coming down. So we kicked off the topic last week with a speaker box from Katie B. Here's what she had to say about how difficult it is to be different. You only get one life. You only get to be young once. You only get to experience the things that you want to do. So you have to make sure that they are things that you really, you personally really, really want to do and what makes you happy. Inspiring words from Katie B there. It was good, that I like that. Um, we've had a huge response to that video on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. Jamie on YouTube says, I think we're all unique in some aspects. It may not be inherently groundbreaking, but we aren't complete carbon copies of another person. Good point, Jamie. Uh, Misha, Aidan, have you ever been asked to um, sort of change your image to be like someone else? Well, I've never been directly asked to, but I think from like, just starting in the music, obviously you'll know this, mm -hmm. you get compared to a lot of people. And you just got to be yourself, I think, you know, at the end yeah. of the day. You can't make it as somebody else because then you're always going to be known as, oh, that's that guy who's like the other guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can never be that. How about you, Misha? Being a, a signed artist, there's the compromise with your team. They think some things are better for you. And at the end of the day, it's me that's going to have to reap the, the end result of everything. So if I'm not happy with something, I say no. Yeah, well, it's you've got to suffer the consequences. Mm -hmm. um, Phoebe on YouTube, she's been on. She says, at the moment, it's like it's wrong to follow the crowd and wrong to be different. The best way that I think we should deal with that is to try and stay true to ourselves and just not care about what other people think. What do you think about that, Megan? Personally, I care about what some of my friends think, especially more my close friends, and I care what my family thinks, and then I'll make my own sort of judgment on that. Mm. A true friend is someone that you can say, oh, no, I'm not doing that, I'm going to do this, and they're like, all right then, yeah. see you tomorrow, all right then, I'll see you later. Yes, that's, that's a such a good point. Mm -hmm. So occasionally you might be encouraged to do something that's actually a bit dangerous or bad for you, so I've got a little challenge for our guests. Welcome to What Would You Do? And here is your host, Jimmy! Welcome, welcome. So this game is designed to see how 401 Show guests would react in certain situations. You've all got a buzzer. You know what to do. What would you do if somebody offered you a cigarette and you didn't want it? Misha? Say, ew, no. I'm not about that life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that is a slogan for life. <laughs> okay, what would you do if somebody told you to go and buy alcohol for them because they were underage and you look older? I'll oh, I'll I'll Aiden and it. Megan at the same time. Um, no, these guys are underage. No, mate. Yeah, no, <laughs> mate. No, mate. No, mate. No, mate. No, mate. No, I've been asked this before, but I think it's actually against the uh, against the law. So I just said no. It's illegal. You get arrested. What would you do if someone offered you a drug of any kind by saying hashtag YOLO <laughs> and everyone has to try it once? <laughs> How you doing? Say don't ever say YOLO again in a sense. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really easy one, isn't it? Yeah. What would you do if somebody teased you for not wanting to do something and said they'd ditch you as a mate if you didn't? Misha? That person clearly isn't a friend. Mm. See you later, mate. It's as simple as that. Well played, guys. Well, good game. Good game. Well, uh, we asked some celebrities for their advice on how to say no to certain situations. Here's what they said. I think if somebody's trying to get you to do something that you don't feel comfortable doing, I think it's quite, it's quite a straightforward thing. You look them in the eyes and you just say no. If you're doing something that makes you feel uncomfortable, then it just might not be the right thing to do. 
there is always an option for you to stay there. Much cooler to be the trendsetter as well. People find that much more attractive if you're your own person. Some great celebrity advice there. Have you guys got any tips on how to stay true to yourself and stick firm in your decisions? A lot of it goes on your gut because it's the one thing that not only obviously you're born with it, and through your life we're all taught what's right and wrong. And it's the one thing that just will not lie to you. But I also think believing and trusting yourself. I don't think you'll ever regret doing that, will no, you? No. Even no. though it might seem really hard. hard, especially if everyone disagrees with you, mm -hmm. when you come out of it the other side, you'll definitely feel just better about yourself yeah. and probably more confident in yourself as well, I 100%. think. 100%. And there you have it. If you're watching the show now and it's Wednesday afternoon, then get online and send us a tweet because I'll be waiting for you. If you're watching the show and it's not Wednesday afternoon, then I'm afraid you've missed out on that. But leave us a comment anyway because we read every single one that we get. Next week, I'm going to be having a deep and meaningful conversation with Carrie Hope Fletcher all about relationships. It's going to be good. Looking forward to that. I'll see you then. Bye. How long is a piece of string? However long you want it. Why isn't the number 11 pronounced 1T1? Because that sounds weird. <laughs> at a cinema, which armrest is yours? Well, Just don't have the front or the back. Okay. <laughs> <Easy>. <laughs> <laughs> it's comfortable.